Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to set up URL pre-fill for a form and then use it in your Salesforce org. Whether you're gathering details from customers on a call, sending out campaign emails, or collecting feedback after a support case is closed, this setup will help you streamline your data collection process. Let's dive in. Here are three common use cases where pre-filled forms in Salesforce can be incredibly useful. First, you need a form link on a Salesforce record so that your agents can easily gather details from customers on a call or guide them with relevant questions based on the issue they're facing. Second, you've just created a new campaign and need to send out an email to all campaign members, asking them to update their details, opt into a specific interest, or complete a survey. Third use case, you want to collect feedback from clients after their interaction with your support team. When a case is closed in Salesforce, an email is triggered with a feedback form that captures case details. Now, let's get to work. Before we start, note that we assume you've already built your form in 123 Form Builder. If you haven't, check out our documentation linked in the description. Add a short text field at the beginning of your form and label it Record ID or Contact ID, Case ID, etc. This field will be pre-filled from Salesforce and hidden on the form. We'll use it to verify the pre-fill functionality. Head over to Setup and then look up in your form. Create a lookup in the Salesforce object you want to pre-fill from, for example, contact, case. Next, add a filter. Contact ID equals request value. Here, type the variable you want to use in the URL, such as CID. Please note, this is case sensitive, so the variable in the URL must match exactly. Next, select the Salesforce fields you want to retrieve. These fields will appear with a gray background once selected. Click Apply Changes to Save. Head over to the Prefill section. Here there is no trigger because the data loads when the form loads, and prevent data load in memory should stay checked. Next, map your form fields to the Salesforce fields you selected in the lookup. Once mapping is complete, copy the generated link at the bottom of the prefill connector. Now we need to replace your value in the copied link with a valid contact ID or case ID. Open the link in a browser and verify that the form fields are correctly pre-filled. In some cases, you might need to pull data from multiple Salesforce objects. You can create additional lookups for other IDs, such as account ID. Let's create another one, right now. Go back to Setup, look up in your form, create another lookup, this time selecting Account as the object. Add a filter, Account ID equals Request Value, and use a relevant variable like AC ID. Now we need to go back to prefill and select the necessary Salesforce fields and complete the mapping process. We copy the generated link at the bottom of the prefill connector. And again, we replace your value in the copied link with a valid account ID. Now, your form can pre-fill data from both contact ID and account ID. Let's test this out. Switch back to the other tab, copy the CID and its value, then paste it into the form link along with the account ID, making sure to separate them with an ampersand symbol. Now, 
Now that we have our pre-fill link ready, let's add it to Salesforce. We can add the add the form URL to pre-fill on a record, or we can add it to an email template. Let's start with the first option. Go to Salesforce Setup, Object Manager. Select the object where you need the link, contact, case, campaign, etc. Navigate to Actions, Buttons, Links and create a new custom button or link. Paste the pre-fill link from 123 Form Builder and replace your value with the relevant Salesforce field. Don't forget to save your work. Next, we need to add the link to the page layout, otherwise it won't appear on the record in Salesforce. Drag and drop it to your desired location on the page, then save the layout. Now, repeat the previous steps for the account object. Navigate to Object Manager, select Account, then go to Buttons, Links and Actions, and create a new custom button or link. Paste the pre-fill link, but this time include only the ACID value, since an account can have multiple contacts. Then replace your value with the relevant Salesforce field. Save the changes, navigate to Page Layouts, place the field where you want it, and save again. Now that we've covered adding a form URL prefill to a record, let's move on to adding it into an email template. Paste the form link you copied from 123 Form Builder's prefill section. Replace your value with the relevant Salesforce field. Test by sending an email to ensure the form is correctly pre-filled. Now that we've added the pre-fill link to an email, let's take a look at another example of how this works in a real email template. As you can see, the pre-filled form link is ensuring that each recipient receives a personalized form with their details already filled in. This makes it easy for customers to complete forms quickly, reducing friction and improving response rates. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Have any questions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.